In this demo, we'll go over uh, the redaction capabilities of SciGen SciCapture 4.0. We've put a lot of focus into the redaction feature as, as uh, we've just had a, a number of requests from service bureau partners, um, legal customers, and resellers that, that really like the redaction functionality, especially with the overall concern in the industry about security and documents and, and things like that. So. Within the product in SciCapture, uh, obviously we're an advanced capture company. Uh, we can scan, import documents, do all different types of processing. There's a number of ways that we can perform the redaction process. And we can do it manually or interactively just through uh, drawing a box across a, a term that needs to be redacted. So I'll go ahead and import just a generic document and give you an overview of, of what we can do. Let's bring in a few pages here of a, a TIFF file that's on the network. And I'll go ahead and stop the import process. And um, within the capture module, I have the capability to perform redaction. But what I'm going to do is, is continue in the, the capture workflow. And I've set up a, a quality assurance step. Now, in the quality assurance view, uh, I have a few things I can do. I can go ahead and open up my tree within my document and I have a visual representation of, of the entire document. And then I can go ahead and throw it into uh, thumbnail view. And this is our document uh, preparation interface. Uh, a lot of legal entities, folks who want to do redaction, utilize this to split documents, insert, replace pages. But um, within this interface, we also have the ability to uh, do a, a manual redaction process. So I can go ahead and use my redaction toolbar to come in, cover a particular term. Um, it'll go ahead and preview it and show me the exact coverage that I'll have of, of the redaction. And then I can choose from uh, redacting to black, white, or white with a black border. So I can come in, choose what I'd like to do, adjust the border thickness, click OK. And then you'll see that it gives me a, a nice redaction, in this case, white box with a black border. Okay, so from an interactive perspective, very simple, very easy to, uh, to work with the product. Um, in the quality assurance module, we've also got some uh, auto processing capabilities. So if we wanted to go ahead and um, process OCR the document, and then uh, search for particular terms to redact. We can do that as well. And within the auto redaction interface, I can go ahead and choose which pages of the document I'd like to do, uh, whether I want to do all pages, whether I want to particular pick a particular section of the page to look for uh, specific terms. Uh, we have uh, OCR engines that we can choose from depending on how you want to process the documents. And then I can come in and add my expression. So in this example, I'm going to go ahead and uh, look for the word river. This is a Mark Twain book that I imported, so uh, uh, there's going to be a few mentions of that. And uh, utilizing what we call a regular expression, I'm having it look for uh, capitalized river or lowercase river. Okay, and I can use all different types of combinations, go through. Um, I can even list multiple expressions. I can build a library. Okay, in which I can store these. So if you had particular ones that you worked on within a case, like maybe you wanted to look for a pattern of a social security, um, you can uh, build this centralized library that'll look for email addresses, phone numbers, socials, all different types of information that you can redact. Okay, so in this example, I went ahead and put my information, um, entered it, and, and now I can uh, I can come in, choose how I want to redact click save and then process. Now this is going to take a minute because it's going to go through, it's going to convert the document into um, a searchable document and then it's going to go through and search for those patterns I entered which are uh, lowercase and uppercase river. Okay, So it's going through the process. Now we do have some other options. One of the new features in 4.0 we just added is uh, redaction based on a field. Okay. So now what we have the ability to do is utilize uh, index fields, which can be either manually entered or auto-populated to perform the redaction process. And I'll show you a bit of that at the end of the demo here. But uh, it's chugging through these pages, doing its conversion, searching for the words. And um, note that this process can be fully automated as well. 
So what I'll do when I'm done here is actually show you how an automated process can work. So now if I open up my thumbnail view and I come into my document, you can see that in my automated process I, I had it go ahead and look for, uh, for River and I utilized the black box redaction just for a differentiator. So really nice, seamless tool, goes through nice tight redaction and it makes it really easy for you to, to do that, uh, that conversion and review the document to make sure that, uh, that everything was redacted that needed to be redacted. Okay. Now this is expression-based redaction. We also have um, in the product what we call a, a form or an overlay redaction. So let's say that you had uh, 10,000 medical forms that always had the social in the upper right corner and uh, maybe a tax ID in the lower left corner. You can actually perform the redaction process using zones. So you can come in, you can preload a document, and then draw where you want the redaction to occur. So I'll go ahead and navigate. Um, oops, let's go ahead and navigate into my folder here, and I'll bring up a sample. Go ahead and grab uh, one of my generic documents, and I'll go ahead and import um, uh, this item. And then what I can do if if there's a, a repetitive area that I want blacked out, I can go ahead and draw the area that I'd like blacked out. I can give it a name. Let's say uh, upper right. Go ahead and save it. And then I can run it on all my pages. And in this case, we'll go ahead and redact to uh, white with a black border so you can see what it looks like. And then I'll click process. And there you go. So now if we take a look at our thumbnail, you can see that all the pages now have that redacted zone. Okay, so three ways I've shown you interactive redaction with the toolbar, automated redaction where we search the text and look for specific patterns, and then we've got the ability to do a zone or a template redaction when you've got information that occurs at the same location in the page. All right. So let's go ahead and X out of this. I, I've shown you uh, interactive options here and, and note when I click done or close batch I have the ability to output redacted and non-redacted copy to any of the 50 back-end systems that we support. Everything from SharePoint to World Docs to Laserfiche, you name it. We can even just kick them out to network folders. Okay, so a lot of different options that you have with the product. Now, along with being able to run SciCapture interactively during the redaction process, we also have the ability to run it uh, in an automated fashion. And let's go ahead and grab that same document. Go ahead and grab um, that Mark Twain book. And we'll grab my generics here. I'll go ahead and copy it. And then um, I'm going to drop it into what we call an auto import folder. So now, either at the desktop or from a scanning copier or maybe a fax drop directory, I have the ability to drop in a file and the application will watch this folder pick up any image file that gets dropped in and auto process it, process it from a redaction perspective so you can see that the the product is queued it up pulled it into its system and it's starting to search the document um, OCR it and then in this example okay you can see it's gone into the workflow and um, let's go ahead and look at uh, at my output, and I've performed this before. I won't have you wait. That that file I dropped in there was fairly big. So what I'll do is is um, come into an output directory that I've set up, and I've got my law firm directory, and you can see here that I've got um, redacted and original copy. Okay, so I can output non-redacted and redacted copy uh, to any of the backend systems that we support. So it gives you a great way to, to have both that private and public document that you'd like to share um, within a folder structure or a backend document management system that you'd like to use. Now the final redaction methodology we can use is what's called index field based redaction. Let's go ahead and import the same document 
and then I'll show you how we can uh, have an operator or um, an end user actually enter information into fields for very simple redaction workflow. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring in this same document. And we'll just bring in a few pages here. Now I've added a workflow step here called an index step. And typically an index step is utilized to enter information about the document and then migrate it um, into the backend system. So you have searchable fields or you can do custom file naming. In this particular example, you can see that I've set up these fields as um, an interactive redaction field. So I can type the word river, maybe river with, uh, with lowercase, and then uh, maybe we look for the word mark. Okay. Now, when I move into my QA, I've set it up to automatically take those terms, go through the document, and then automatically redact. All right, now, interactively this works, but we also have the ability to populate those fields in a number of ways. Okay, we could do a database lookup and bring back the terms that need to be redacted. Okay, we could throw a barcode cover sheet on here with the terms that need to be redacted, scan it, and perform an automated process. All right. So if you look here, uh, you can see that we've automatically redacted again, and uh, we've got all our terms blacked out. So this is just a basic primer. Note that you can take this redaction functionality to, to much higher uh, heights. Um, everything from dropping in a, a CSV file with the document that contains the redaction terms you need, which really lends itself nicely to integrating with other applications. So if you have any questions about Site Capture and how we can help you with redaction and document confidentiality, uh, go ahead and send a note to sales at SciGen.com or you can call 949-916-7700, uh, extension 230. Thanks.